my friend Cole Kerrigan. Hello. Yes. So he does my makeup today and literally better than I could ever do it. All the beauty gurus are shaking out shaking. there. Um, so if you want to see how he does this on my face, keep watching because we spill so much tea from high school. Like, Spilled the tea. Expose people of our past. Exposed. But it's fine. Stories um, are out and told. Out. Yeah. You don't want to miss it. I like don't so. even care either. So just... We like wanted to hold back. Why would we hold back? We might as well go all out. Where we grew up to is predicts so just Read keep it. watching make sure to turn on your post notifications subscribe like this video and on with the real stuff <laughs> all right so we're just gonna talk about some problematic we're things. gonna spill the tea spill the tea while i beat her face oh yeah <laughs> not literally <laughs> we'll talk about that later but first you gotta prime the face because if you don't your foundation is gonna be seeping into your pores and we don't want that sweetie me thinking of all my scandals I'm trying to really just think about the ones that are like appropriate. Uh, <laughs> Me and Amanda went to high school together, like what, a year ago, a year and a half ago, or wait, two years ago. <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> We're so young. But I feel like it would be really interesting if we just talked about drama that happened in our high school years. Like where, where should we even start? I feel like we should just go right into like the craziest story. You know, there's always those high school bullies that just always have nothing to do but like talk down on people. But okay, so me and this person, we had beef. They always got like involved with drama that didn't even have to do with them. One day had enough of me and decided <laughs> to just like go on a social media rant, like tag me, get everyone involved. And this person had like a pretty solid amount of Instagram, Twitter followers. So like when they wanted to get their word out, they did it. Like with no regrets, they did not give a f So they went on a three day social media rant trying to like meet up with me wanting to like fight me basically and it, as you can tell like I'm not really a fighter I got like a bunch of their friends to uh, tag along and instigate and it, it got so bad to the point where they keyed my dad's car literally wrote faggot on it threw a rock through my window and shattered it like tried to break into my house and my dogs like you've like passed a whole nother level That's I am like not the type of person to like want to fight anyone ever and so I like literally just tried to ignore them and ignore them them, but once they keep my dad's car, like I'm like ending this. I have to defend myself somehow. They're like, let's meet up at this park, and I was like, okay, whatever. Like, let's do it. So I bring like three friends. Maybe I thought that was a good backup. <laughs> you you thought? You I thought. thought. I, so I'm walking up to this damn park, right? And I just see a crowd of people. Like my whole high school class of 2016 is at this park. No, right no, no, no. And let's just talk about how if you were not at the park, like say myself. Don't worry, because yeah. a whole group of people were live on Periscope. So I got to see it through the live on Periscope. People had popcorn. Pop popcorn and pizza at this meetup fight thing. Like it was wait, wait, a wait. thing. Cool, cool, cool. How does it feel to be a star? It feels amazing. <laughs> I love being iconic. At least 50 people. 5-0. When I see 50 people, I, my heart kind of seems a little intimidated. I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to like get my shit rocked. Beep, 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 oh, beep. everything you say! Oh. So I couldn't back out at this point. And so I'm like standing there, just like kind of chilling. I don't know where this person is that's trying to fight me, but I see the whole entourage. <laughs> so I'm like chilling, and out of nowhere, I get punched in the face by this huge dude. Like this huge, this huge ginormous man literally comes up and just decks me in the face. Like, and I literally was like, holy. I literally get like rocked. I literally like kind of blacked out for a second. Like I went to the ground and then out of nowhere, I hear this voice yelling my name and I'm like, all right, it's go time. So in my adrenaline, since I just got punched in the face, oh, was yeah. like up there. This person just starts charging at me and I charge right back. I'm not a, really like a big person with violence, like I don't really condone that. Like, once you like key my dad's car, like try to break into my house, and, and you're, you literally begged for this, like it's go time baby. That happened, everyone was recording, like and I got up and literally walked away from that and I never got f with again. The next day, hate mail and the threats got even worse after I defended myself and won because I defended myself. But yeah, so that was the one time I got in a fight. <laughs> It's really hard to top that, to be honest. Yeah, that was like probably my craziest high school story. It was like the whole town was like the whole there town. or knew about it or like, it was like all over social media. What? Why are you so crazy? 
So basically, it was the last day of school, junior year. I just wanted to be problematic. I remember specifically feeling that way when I went to buy goldfish. We had our final exam and I put the three goldfish in a clear mug and I took them to school and I had them sitting on my table while I was taking an exam. And I got all the attention I wanted. You know, everyone's like, what the heck? Why do you have goldfish? It was super fun. I just remember standing in the foyer of our school. There were people there that didn't go to our school. I had these goldfish and one of these guys just wanted to flex. So he was like, I'll pay you $100 to drink the goldfish to probably one of the dumbest people at our school. No offense if he's watching this. He decided to drink the goldfish and there's like a whole video of it. And honestly, is that animal abuse? I don't know. I think, cause the fish had to be alive still, right? Oh, they were squirming around. In his stomach? Oh yeah, in his mouth, in his stomach. In the video, one of the goldfish like jump out. Jump like, oh. like ah, I'm gonna eat. And then he literally swallowed them, got a hundred dollars like right in front of my eyes. He said like he felt them in his stomach and they were probably taking time to deteriorate because he didn't chew them, he whole swallowed them. I had this fling with this guy and uh, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, Cole had him first. <laughs> I mean, I feel like at that point it was like someone else's sloppy seconds. <laughs> Basically, this was lit. I dated this guy for like two seconds in eighth to ninth grade, and then once me and her became closer friends, we figured out that they later on dated. We yeah. love that. We love. <laughs> so we're like Eskimo bros right now, like mm -hmm. Eskimo sisters. Sisters. <laughs> yeah. Next topic. That's all you get out that's of us. All, that's all you get to know. <laughs> My biggest, probably biggest high school bully in my entire life. Oh, yes! I was hoping you would tell this story. Um, someone that Amanda literally used to be best friends in high school with. He, like, used to bully the literal living, like, probably my biggest high school bully. Like, he would literally bully the out of me, like, on social media and, like, for no reason. And recently, he's been hitting me up and he came over. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Exposed. We should start charging bees right now to expose all these people. Yeah, just replying to my boy Manny. God, high boring. school is just so far away. At this point, all those things have become minuscule, and like now I have so many other bigger, bigger issues. issues. Like, <laughs> I feel like being with you today, because being around inspiring people inspires mm -hmm. you. And when I'm just sitting in my apartment by myself, like with people that aren't inspiring, that mm -hmm. don't know what they want, it's like it can like dull me. Oh, it does. These people around here, they all they care about is partying. Mm -hmm. And then you go, actually, you're going to prom today. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. I will say though, I am so glad that we're done with those people that we've done. We know what we want to do with our career. I just cannot wait in a year from today Dude, to I see know. where we are. Dude. Yeah. Setting spray, just make sure that don't move. Wait, look at me in the oh camera. Oh my god. Look at me in the camera. No, like who am I? Oh. <laughs> You guys, you will never see me looking like this again on camera <laughs> unless cold with my makeup. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final look. He is so good! I literally could not do this myself. Like, I actually could not do this myself. I was looking, like, in the mirror, like, gonna take a selfie, and I'm like, I'm a different person right now. Um, a sis snapped on my face. Like, that was super great. Shisher snapped. Uh, thank you so much for being on my channel Of today. course! Well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Kisses to our haters. Later. Bye. Bye.